Saturday morning. I'm heading out. I think I'm not going to take the bike all the way into Physio. Um, the wind is a bit terrifying. Um, <laughs> hour. Um, I hung the socks up from to dry because uh, it's going to be quite warm and they should be dry by tonight, anyways. Um, but I felt a little stuffy because the sun comes in the living room area and blah. So I opened up, because I know that the second bedroom's window was open all night. So I was like, let's get a breeze through here. I had trouble opening the window. And so I had to like keep it propped open because the wind was so strong that it was sucking it back closed in window form. So I held it open door-wise <laughs> with my foot while I did the laundry, or at least hung up the socks. But yeah, so. It's fun! I'm probably gonna grab the bike a little bit and just take it over to the train facility though. A few moments later. <sighs> Not even that hot out. So I went in early and was just gonna sit down, but he peeked his head out and came in. So I was in there for like 45 minutes. Got my money's worth on a half an hour appointment. But he started me on warm up with the internal external rotation. And then we went to deadlifts, which I haven't done in a long time because one, the shoulder, um, I didn't want to pull it out of joint or anything like that because I didn't know what was wrong. And then I also wasn't doing squats because I physically couldn't get my shoulder back around behind me or my arm back there. So since that's not really a problem now, we went and tested out at least a front squat. And the front squat was okay, but homeboy already had me do four sets of 15 on a deadlift, increasing weights. Well, first it was just the bar after doing a leg day. And then he put 15 kilos on each side. And then he added 10 kilos and I did two sets of that. Just a Pokemon day. And uh, so is tomorrow, but tomorrow's a game, but with a battery I can take care of stuff. I don't know this Albert Heim very well. Yeah, I apparently had some really poor sleep last night. <laughs> so I came back, um, I was sitting down on the couch, and I was talking to Aaron. Uh, oh, my whole boy sent me through the rigors on legs. Like, I did not light legs yesterday because uh, Merlin was there. Merlin, whatever. No, it's Merlin because it doesn't have the Dutch spelling. Anyways, um, so he was like taking up a lot of the stuff with uh, <laughs> the various weights and stuff and had like a couple machines. Like he's responsible about it, but like he'll take up a lot. He'll take up like neighboring machines and he'll keep all the weights on those two machines or his client. Unlike the other guy who was taking up four machines in like the cardinal directions of the gym, but going between them fast enough. And like he'd go into the preacher curl, which is this, which is when you lean over something and the pads like right underneath your armpit and you do the bicep curl. And he was like, like he was, he went from deep guttural when he'd start to this screech by the time he got to the top. And I was like, bro, there are other people in this gym with you. And sometimes, I mean, I give a little bit of slack to people that have headphones in because they sometimes don't know. <laughs> they're, they're trying to hear, you know, grunting over their music. And they don't realize how much that's extending to everyone else that's listening to traffic outside. <laughs> Um, anyways, but yeah, um, socks, <laughs> uh, 
anyways, we got a, but, a, so I laid down for a little bit while Aaron did uh, bacon and stuff. Then we ate, we talked about Oni while we did that, and I played and caught more Pokemon. And then once I got done eating, I was like, oh, my legs were starting to like, so I got a little bit of the vibro gun, which is still dying. <laughs> and I got that put in a bit of my quads and stuff. And then I shook the shoulder a little bit, but apparently <laughs> I released the Nine Nine chemicals because <laughs> I had like an hour long nap in there. <laughs> <laughs> the fibro gun released the night night chemicals Aaron's like no I, I understand that yeah. he's in here calling he's there at the bed with his, he's sorting all of his clothing do you want this one is that like the is that like the Wesley shirt but what I call the Wesley shirt but with um, uh, brownish maroon I think so yeah no I have that I have the gray sweater version of that <laughs> Maybe it's in the one. <laughs> I'm so colorblind I can spot a gray from across the room. So what you guys were seeing was the maroon brown, whatever. Maroon. And this is my gray one. <laughs> I call it the Wesley one because for a while, while he was like civilian in the first season, like he had some really weird sweaters, but he definitely had really baggy gray sweaters on. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> notice I didn't actually care that that maroon one went bye bye somewhere, but I think I let Aaron wear it because it didn't match anything I did, and he needed a sweater at the time. Yeah. Is this your keep pile, or I don't know what That's I'm doing? My no pile. Oh, the Kalanji pants don't even fit you anymore. I didn't try. Oh. Uh, but... We can always go get you new ones. Yeah. Um, they're cute. I may try them. Uh, I would not wear that. Um, yeah, the pink sleeve shirt is definitely a... We are not. <laughs> I'm not wearing it. He's not wearing it. It doesn't fit him. I don't want to be the recipient of all of his stuff. Either he doesn't want to wear it anymore or can't wear it anymore. What's wrong with this champ pro or champion? Is it just too... Too tight around the middle? But I'm sure I think long enough though. 